But when the owners at Chez Chalet told us that this is one of their top five places in the whole world, we were sold and we just had to visit. Go to Lamu. And go to Lamu. Lamu next. Definitely. <laughs> Recommend Lamu. it. Lamu next. <laughs> and without looking any further into it, true field division style, we caught our trip in Melindy Shore and booked the next available flight straight here. Located about 750 miles away from the Somali border is a small little island called Lamu. And that's where we are today. It only dawned on us the night before saying, hmm, let's take a look at this place. From their hearty exchanges and playful jokes amongst themselves, it is difficult to imagine that these mostly young men are planning murder on a large scale. The sons of terror chanted their last prayers before opening fire at the KDF camp. And our plan is to see if it's actually as dangerous as it's made out to be. Welcome to Lamo. Right people, we have made it here to Lamu and we have Felicen, our lovely helper that's helping us with our bag. So when you come off the boat, you can actually pay porters that can take your luggage to your accommodation. So we've got two people doing that and they're charging 500 shillings per person. To be fair, I think that's a fair price because they are very heavy and we have got all our life in those suitcases. But it's around about eight to 10 minute walk to our accommodation where we are going right now. And I must say, First impressions of this place is pure vibes. Let's go, Zakaria. Yeah. yeah. Up the hill he goes. What's your first impression, Zakaria? It is completely different to all of other Kenya places that we've been to. It's got like an Arabian feel to it. Like a Muslim, you can tell it's got a lot of Muslim influence here, or a lot of Muslims, because you see like the old men with their hats, children with jubbas and women with it uh, in the garb and hijab walking around so yeah it's really interesting these are our porches yeah. wow oh he's giving you a touch down you are a strong boy <laughs> he is a very strong boy and again yes. <laughs> we made it hello doggo so last night we had a nice lovely rest at our airbnb and uh, today we're making our way over into the town a place called shella and then we're going to get a boat across to an island called manda island to an amazing lovely spot it's called majlis resort let's go and make our way there so to get around the island you have to go on donkeys there's only two cars i believe on the whole island itself and that's one for the president when he comes to visit and one for ambulance and we made it to the seaside. Yes, we have Yusuf. Yeah, how are you, man? Zakaria is getting heavier and heavier, carrying him around everywhere. Welcome to Banda. <laughs> this is beautiful. It's like the most clearest beach that I've seen so far here in Kenya. All the others have had like seaweed and leaves and stuff, but this is like pristine. Now you know why like the luxury five-star resorts are all lined across here. As soon as you step into the Majlis Resort, it just smells and reeks opulence because <laughs> like everything here is immaculate. Like the building is really nicely yeah, laid out, very, very spacious. And as you'd expect with these kind of seaside front resorts or beachside resorts, like there's big massive cabanas there where you can chill in all day. Just spend the last couple of hours relaxing up here. Enjoying the lovely views and just sitting down on these beds really. It's a really nice place just to relax. It's a bit pricey I have to say. I've got to say this place is an absolute hidden paradise. I was just speaking to a lady just before then who was in the Majlis swimming pool and she was telling me that she'd been coming here for the last 15 years and that's one of the reasons why is because not many people know about it and that's what she loves so i do feel like people that know about this island or about this place are going to really either hate us for spreading the word because this is an actual paradise but people that don't already know about it guys stop wasting time and get yourself down here as you can see here it's sunset time this is like prime hour it's completely dead literally you would be fighting for these sunbeds right now trying to get the best spot of the house but looking across this strip it's just a handful of people and that's just the beauty of it it's just absolutely gorgeous and the hotel itself was absolutely empty as well so if you do want to take advantage of that bring your swimming stuff along with you because the pools have looked amazing 
and you can go and have a dip in them as well. Wow guys, this place is absolute paradise. I know I said that about 15 times in this vlog already, or maybe more. But our guy Yusuf has come and picked us up. We are now leaving Manda Island. It's a five minute drive back to the Shella village town area. And we're gonna go and get something to eat from one of the famous restaurants. So let's go. Pony restaurant and somebody is in a very good mood today. <laughs> well I have to say this place looks very fancy, very nice and it's got an absolutely gorgeous view. Look at that little baby. Yeah, and right it's like there. green. And for appetizers we have this lovely little fried ciabatta bread which is very very delicious and crispy I have to say so when we looked at a few videos online about Lamu and all the restaurants and everything in general around here there were a few people that were saying it's really really expensive like 30 pounds or 30 euros or 30 dollars for like a burger or something but the pound is actually not that bad I mean it's 2,000 roughly for a meal which is about 10 to 12 pounds I mean in a fancy fancy place like this is not too bad I think it's alright How did your food look like? Food looks good. I'm hoping it tastes good. Everyone's been raving about this restaurant, saying it's the best place to eat in Lamu. I'm gonna go in my first bite, and I'm gonna take you on this journey with me. The burger is very simple, but I don't mind it. Sometimes simple is be, like right? the best. Yeah, then you've got all your toppings there. As far as burgers go, that's a good one. And I'm not just saying that. I'll give that eight out of ten. Oh. Gotta say, my pan fried chicken looked quite fancy fancy and it came with a side of chips. Got a bit of greens in there, I need to keep healthy recently, so let's have it. The food was fan dabby I have to say, very delicious. Bit on the pricey side for Kenya, but we are in a fancy place. Came to 6250 I won't say it's too bad, but we're now going to make our way back to the hotel, get a good night rest, and we'll see you in 3, 2, one. Good morning guys and welcome back to the vlog. We are now making our way to Lamu Town. It's a beautiful day. And just to give you an idea of how hot it is, I am dripping sweat and literally had showers about half an hour ago. Feeling hot, hot, hot. It is a hot one this morning, I have to say. It's only like 10 30. It's quite early for us to get out for the day. Yeah, so it costs a thousand shillings to go from the port in Shella over to Lamu Town. Not too bad. It is about a 15 20 minute journey. Wow, so as soon as you come out of the port, you'll realise you'll get bombarded with so many people asking you if you want a tour guide, and it's literally full on. It's like, don't have time to think. But we've just made it into the UNESCO World Heritage Site here in Lamu. You can't miss it as soon as you come out, and you have this port. So we just thought it's in a nice shaded area, let's come and check it out. Okay, so to visit the museum and this fort, you've got to pay 500 as a non-resident each. We're gonna probably walk around the town first and then decide later if we wanna cool down by visiting a museum in the fall. Let's go and check the town out. About a month ago, I see on the news something happened here and people said to us, don't come here, it's dangerous. Once Lamu is mentioned, people think Lamu is this island. Mm. But this island is not Lamu, it's Amu Island. Amu. Okay. Amu Island. Oh. And the incident actually happened mainland. Oh, because on the news they yeah, make it mainland. out to be here. Yeah, sure, not here. Mainland from Mokowe, if you have you, you, ca you came through plane flight. We flight, flight yeah, 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 we did it. If you came uh, along the road, mm. You will meet all these things. Mm. So the mainland, the problem is in mainland, okay. not island. And what's your name? My name is uh, Mohammed Swale. Mohammed Swale. Swale. Mohammed Swale. Uh, but I call myself through maybe TikTok or Facebook, Instagram, Loman Hazai. Follow. And this <laughs> is this lovely shop here. Yes. I'll buy this one from you, yeah? Sure. We get a nice atar. And the good thing about it is oil based, so the smell lasts all day long and there's no alcohol in this as well. Thank you very much for that, brother. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Bless you all, plus Zakaria. Oh, we got a bit of a traffic. Oh, oh. A bit of a traffic. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
So we've just made it to a big massive square here mm -hmm. and right behind me yeah. is the oldest mosque here in Lamu. It's a common theme that I've noticed as we travel through Kenya where white and green are the chosen colours for decorating mosques. I kind of get it, it stands out. It really does stand out. Well we've just been walking around for about 45 minutes to an hour and I have to say it doesn't seem so dangerous right? So I think we've done quite a bit here in Lamu town and I've actually really quite enjoyed it. It was a proper surprise with everyone that's around here and all the people that we met. Okay, so we're here now getting biryani from the local place. Oh, there's ice cream as well. Mango restaurant, yeah? Look at that biryani. Mashallah. And this is the stew, yeah? Yes, yes. yes. This is the beef stew. Beef stew. Mashallah. Very Sharif nice. Sana. Very nice. Thank, Thank you so much. Okay, so this is the biryani plate. It's quite big, yeah? Yeah. Two biryanis, ugali and chicken, as well as two drinks, 1,350. Like that is proper bargain buckets compared to like the seven, eight thousand we've been paying for a meal between all of us since we got here. So that's what you get for going local, but it's delicious. Now that looks like it's gonna be an epic biryani. It's gonna be good. It was a proper local shop. What's the biryani like? This biryani is, oh my God, it's insane. We've literally been back a few minutes and I've cleared my plate already. That's how good it is. Locals know the best spots and this is absolutely delicious and it's cheap too. After a lovely biryani lunch, these two guys had a nice lovely two hour nap, didn't you? Hey, when there's an opportunity for a nap, <laughs> I ain't gonna say no. So we are now making our way to Shella Beach. It's about a 10 minute walk from our Airbnb and I think we're just going to make it in time just before the sun is about to set. I am very looking forward to this. Here we have a lovely Lucy guys. So if you are parents like us that are on the move, she is actually a nanny on this island. So if you fancy going out for a dinner date, then hit up your girl. We'll leave her number in the description below. Lucy Lou! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Watch it! <laughs> so we just made it onto this glorious beach. It is a bit of a cloudy one and the sun is starting to dip. So it's a bit dark. But nevertheless, it's a nice calm sea. As we were walking onto the beach actually, a couple of the locals said, don't walk too far onto the beach where the sand dunes are because eh, there's some security issues and you know there were some robberies of people coming over the sand dunes and stuff. It's just like any other place in the world certain places have security issues so we'll probably try and walk up to the fort if i'm going to be honest with you guys going to the manda island yesterday and having the beaches there were absolutely gorgeous yeah yeah it's a so massive it's like, difference if we just explored this beach first and, and then went there. went there but it's nice it's a lovely beach but manda island is the one guys yeah yeah, yeah. that's definitely worth visiting the sunset there is beautiful and there he goes running straight towards the water there he goes You know what guys, we always normally have very positive things to say about a place but for the first time in a long time I don't feel 100% safe so we're going to walk back because literally this beach is completely empty there are a couple of guys on the sand dunes but it's probably my mind just going overdrive because of what that guy just told us about people sitting on sand dunes running down because there was a robbery not so long ago there's a few security issues here so I'm not going to risk it my intuition is telling me to walk back, so that's exactly what we're going to do. I mean, this is the first time since being here on our trip that I felt a teeny bit unsafe. Let's go back. You made me scared. <laughs> Not really, to just... Uh, You're warning me, yeah, no, no. Thank you so much for um, warning us. Because, because uh, uh, just two days ago, one already been raped here. Oh, really? Yeah, that is the third one. Oh, my for God. this month. Okay. Thanks, brother. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. Bloody hell, I was not expecting him to say that. Smart. I know. I wasn't expecting that. Gosh. I wish I didn't know this information now. I mean, it's quite sad to be fair, in such a beautiful place, why that would happen. I know. But at the same time, there's no... You can't justify that. That shouldn't happen. A woman should be able to walk on her own wherever. Yeah. It's just one of those things, no matter where in the world. But you do come here just be safe honestly my heart is literally pounding now for hearing that information i couldn't believe it and the lady sat next to us she was terrified and all with hearing that news but guess where we are we are back in paponi and the is making uh, friends as per usual <laughs> hello <laughs> so guys i think we're gonna end the vlog here I'm very surprised at the end with that information we've been like just swaddling around 
together as a family, just walking around, we've never felt unsafe, only until that very last bit there. So if you do come visit this Paradise Island, if you are a woman, make sure you've got a bit of company, use your wits about you, you know, don't go out in the night, just the general sort of safety rules. But overall, we've had a fantastic time here in Nam. I personally think Anywhere you go in the world, you need to keep your wits about yourself and keep yourself safe. I can walk down the wrong street in London and get stabbed, or I can walk here or anywhere else in the world and get money. So what I say is Lamu safe, I'd say 100% yes, but I definitely recommend coming to Lamu if you're in Kenya, definitely. In mind guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, we've got loads more Kenya videos coming along. But for now, remember body and visions and we'll see you on the next one. Goodbye. Bye.